Surah 4, 157 of the Quran. And because they're saying in boast, we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Miriam, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but it appeared so to them, the resemblance of Jesus was put over another man, and they killed that man. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no certain knowledge. They follow nothing but conjecture, for surely they killed him not, Jesus, son of Miriam. This is the Islamic stance on Jesus that Allah rescued him and uh, put Jesus' image on another man and they crucified that man. Well, the Bible tells us a different story uh, repeatedly. It tells us many times that indeed it was Jesus who died on the cross and who later rose again for our salvation. And when we bring that to the Muslim, they are very quick to say, well, Christians changed the Bible. And in response to that, we can ask, well, what about the Roman testimony or the Jewish testimony or testimony from philosophers back in uh, the first few centuries that all verified Jesus died by crucifixion? Uh, the Muslim, again, will be quick to say, well, Christians got them to change their testimony. Uh, Christians changed the history. And on further uh, investigation, we can quickly see that uh, Christians were despised of the world back then. In fact, uh, more than anyone else, Romans and Jews hated Christians. They wanted to exterminate them from the planet. And I find it very unlikely, unbelievable, really, that any Christian could persuade a Jew or a Roman to do pretty much anything. Uh, they were just so despised. But even still, Muslims stick to their guns and say, nope, uh, Christians changed the history. They persuaded the Roman and the Jew to change their story. Well, today I'd like to present some evidence that absolutely denies what this says, absolutely denies the idea that Christians changed the Bible. Uh, and it all started in 1946 with the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, among these scrolls was the Great Isaiah Scroll. And this particular scroll dated back to 1925, or 1925, forgive me, uh, uh, 125 BC. So this is 150 years before Jesus uh, died on the cross 150 years before the early church was even born. That's when this scroll was written. And let me let me share uh, a part of what this scroll says in Isaiah 53. It says, Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He has had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We are like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter and a, as a sheep before the shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth he, for he was cut off from the land of the living for the transgression of my people he was punished he was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death though he had done no violence nor was any deceit in his mouth yet it was the lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer and though the lord makes his life an offering for sin he will see his offering and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many, 
and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great because he poured out his life unto, get it, death. He was numbered with the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Here we have Isaiah absolutely prophesying to a T what happened to Jesus, all for our sins, perfectly, all before the church, all before it ever happened. And I have to ask my Muslim friends, why would I believe this? Why would I believe this when it said Jesus was not killed on a cross? Why would I believe that? Why would I believe that the church changed history when this says it all happened even before the church was created? 